Hello everybody. Today we are going to be learning about oil pastel techniques. We're going to be using this chart as a template to learn 12 different techniques. Let's get started. All right, I have recreated the chart. Um, and today we're gonna get started with number one. I have my oil pastels ready along with paper towels, and later on, I will be using some Q-tips and possibly a paintbrush, something to scratch with. Now, you can use an X-Acto knife, um, a paper clip, or anything that is hard and you can scratch the oil pastel with. Um, I also have a small cup that I have gotten a little bit of vegetable oil in. So vegetable oil or baby oil. All right, we'll get to those later. To begin, we're going to do a simple blend using our fingers to blend two colors in a gradual blend. When you are using oil pastels, think about your pressure. You want to lay down a lot of pigment. So you are pressing fairly hard. Um, it's okay if you go outside of the box. And what I'm doing is using kind of circular motion. I'm not using straight lines. I don't want to see the lines. I want it to blend uh, as if I was using real paint. So our oil pastels are emulating real oil paint. All right, so I'm gonna go about halfway, a little over halfway with my first color. Always lay down your darker color first. All right, you can also have um, a paper towel close by to kind of wipe off the excess of your, if you got any kind of build up of and kind of fall off and later when your colors start to blend together like i was blending some yellow i can wipe off that yellow and clean up your oil pastel all right i'm going to grab my other color my green and i'm going to start at the outer edge away and i'm going to go ahead and blend in a circular motion again and i'm just really i'm Pressing fairly hard, but not hard enough to hurt my hand. And just going over it and layering it so that all the white paper is gone. And it's really building up like oil paint. And as I get closer to my other color that I want to blend, I'm going to go over it and overlapping. And you'll see that it'll start to blend just by the motion of overlapping. Right? And you can continue to blend that way by overlapping it. In a moment, though, I'm going to use my finger to blend it even more. All right, and so now you can see I got a little buildup of blue. And if I want to clean that off, then I'll just kind of give it a pass with the paper towel and clean it up. All right, so now I have a lot of buildup. You can actually see the built up oil pastel. And I'm just going to use my finger and gently blend it in. All right, and I'm kind of just dragging the blue so that there's a nice transition between the pure blue to the blue green to the green. All right, and you can spend some time really dragging the pigment down and blending it in softly. And then if you feel like you, you know, you got some weird spots like this, I had a lot built up there. I'm going to go back and layer on some more. All right, next, let's move on to number two, blend with a tissue.
Okay, or a paper towel. So this time I will go ahead and grab uh, my color, whatever color you want. And I'll start by laying down my first color. And once again, I'm using a, a pretty hard pressure and sort of circular strokes. Alright, and I think this time maybe I'll blend into white. Well, how about not white? How about, how about red? All right, now I've got a little bit of blending going on as I layer the red on top of the blue, creating a purple, a mix. And I'm going to experiment now with using my paper towel. I'm going to create what's called a paper stump out of my paper towel. All right, so I'm just going to get my paper towel and I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'll fold it in half again. Fold it in half again. And just Keep folding it in half until it gets pretty narrow. Then fold it the opposite way in half. All right, and at this point, you should have a pretty thick corner right here. And I'm just going to bend this so that I have a hard corner. So now I'm going to use this hard corner as a paper stump. And I'm just going to gently blend with my paper stump. All right, so this is one method of blending. I actually prefer blending with my finger uh, because the paper stump actually removes pigment. But some people really like this idea of the control of using a paper stump. You can get into detailed areas or into corners. Okay. All right, so my goal here is to have some nice smooth blends and to, of course, build up the pigment so that it looks like paint and covers my entire rectangle. All right, let's move on to number three, stippling. Stippling in art is a form of dotting. So to do stippling, you're going to lay down a lot of dots. All right. So the more pigment you lay down, your dots are going to kind of blend together. But what's happening is we're creating some texture by laying down the pigment in the dots. And if you want your value to look lighter, then you can make your dots a little farther spaced out and have the white of the paper show through to make it look like a lighter value. In a moment, I'm gonna layer on another color though so that I have kind of a blend happening with the stippling one color into the next. Okay, so you can see I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna layer more dots on to lay down more pigment, but I do want it to have a texture. All right, so now I'm going to lay down some green dots. Okay, so remember, always put your darker color or your darker value down first, the lighter color or lighter value down second. Okay, so let's 
so it's just stippling. And I can make the dots as condensed as I want or as you know sparse or spaced out depending on how much blend you want or how much white you want showing through, creating a lighter value. All right, so now I've got a kind of a, a, a blend going here from the pure blue to the blue green to the green. All right, next we're gonna do what's called scrumbling. And scrumbling is a great way to build texture and to build layers and uh, pigment. So I'm going to start scrumbling. And scrumbling is technically like doing like lots of doodles, lots of wavy, unpredictable lines. All right, I'm going to build up another layer. I'm going to put my kind of built up layer over here on the left. And then in a moment, I'm going to scrumble on some orange on the other side. All right, so you can see all my scribbly wavy lines. And now I'm going to grab my other color and scrumble it on top. All right, so this builds up color and saturation really fast, and it really looks like paint. Okay, and I'm applying pretty hard pressure again. I'm filling all the white space, and I'm really layering this to build it up and create that painterly effect. I'll even go back with more red and more squiggly wavy lines all right so that goes from red to orange you know you can continue to build but i'll grab some yellow and scrumble on some yellow and really brighten it up and give it that painterly effect all right, I'm just going to clean off my yellow on my paper towel. Okay, we're moving on to number five. We're going to create a value scale from dark to light. Um, you can do this with one color plus black and white. So I'm going to use, um, how about purple? So I'm going to start out, you can start if you want to dark, you can start with your black and then move to your color and then move to white. So what, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my color and I'm going to put it in the middle. And I'm using circular lines again. Okay, and since I'm making a value scale, I'm going to lay down a lot of pressure and a lot of pigment right here for the true color. And then I'm going to lighten my pressure because over here is going to be white. So I'm going to lighten my pressure just so there's a little bit of the purple pigment there. Same thing over here. I'm going to lighten the pressure, a little bit of purple pigment. All right, so now you can see on the ends the light pressure and how it looks, you know, um, very see-through to the white. Next, I'm going to get my black and I'm going to create a shade of purple on the left-hand side. So with circular motions and really hard pressure, I'm going to get a pure black over here on the end and then move towards the purple. Now, don't go all the way to the purple. We're going to grab the purple again and put some on top of the black. Remember, dark first, lighter on top. All right, I'm going to grab my purple and I'm going to lay it on the top and start blending the black into the purple, creating a shade, a darker value of purple. Okay, and I'm just using the purple 
oil pastel to drag that black. You know, at any point you could use your finger to start blending. You can use your paper stump you made. All right, and if your purple got too much black on it, just wipe it off on the paper towel. You can always layer more purple or your color, whatever color you're using, layer some more on there. All right, now I wanna make a tint of my color. So I'm gonna get my white. Remember your lightest color is last. So now I've got some white there on the end and I'm gonna start using the white to blend on top of the purple and just smooth out that blend, make it a little more gradual. Okay, so there's my value scale from black to a shade of purple to purple to a tint of purple to white. All right, next we're going to do a gradual blend one color to white. We've kind of already done that, but let's make a large square so that you can see it. All right, grab any color that you want. And I'm gonna start on the left-hand side with my color and move to the right with the white in a moment. So once again, I'm laying down fairly hard pressure to get a nice buildup of pigment. And I'm using circular strokes so that it looks nice and painterly get a little bit of texture going. And as I move towards the side, I'm gonna lighten up my pressure, less pigment. All right, and now I'm doing a gradual blend color to white. So I'm gonna get my white, I'm gonna make sure it's clean because I had some purple on it. All right, and now I'm just gonna blend in the white on top of the blue, creating a nice tint of blue. And then I want it to transition to even lighter blue and to white. So I'm gonna clean off the white again, clean off some of that blue with my paper towel. All right, and now add in some more white. All right, there's my gradual blend, one color to white. All right, that's our first six techniques in part one of our video. And in a moment, we're gonna start part two, our next six techniques.